So there I was, standing in front of this convenience store, and this man that I just met putting cream all over my legs, all over my thighs, and then up my shorts, kinda, so he can put it on my cheekage. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's your boy, Ty Tun, and in today's story time, I'm gonna be telling you about this horrible pride experience that I had to go through. Now, I know it's been a minute. I haven't posted a YouTube video in about two or three weeks now, but I am back. Last month, I was having a little bit of trouble mentally, but now I am totally fine. <laughs> I mean, I hope I am. Let's pray that I am. With everything going on in the world right now, I'm not too sure. But for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna pretend that I am, okay? Okay. Now, like I said, this story is about a horrible time I had at Pride, but it was nobody's fault but my own because of an outfit I decided to wear. Literally, an outfit I decided to wear ruined my Pride experience. But you'll hear about all that later on in the story, but first, I'm gonna need you guys to give this video a big fat thumbs up, subscribe to my channel to become part of the Thai fam, and ring that notification bell so you can get notified every time I post. Oh my god, it's been a minute. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat at T-Y-E underscore T-U-N. Oh my god, that, that was a bit of a struggle. But let's get into today's story time. I don't know why people insist on reaching out to me through TikTok that I don't like. Like, leave me alone. You see, I don't be talking to nobody. Leave me be by myself. Leave me be by myself. Okay, so this story takes place when I was in college. I don't remember the year exactly, but I want to say it was either 2016 or 17. Has it been that long since I've been out of school? Oh my God, I'm old. But during this year, me and my friends decided that we were going to go to Pride. And if you know me, you know I love pride. I love dressing up, I love all the colors. If you guys follow me on TikTok, you know I'm all about the colors. I love meeting the members of my community, making new friends, and I especially like looking at the boys. So me and my friends decide that we're gonna go, but we're all gonna wear matching outfits. Now this is where I may have messed up. So we go out clothes shopping and we find all these different things to try on and a whole bunch of different possible outfit choices. And eventually we all decide that we're gonna buy basic black shirts and then we're going to paint rainbow flags on them, which I thought was a super cute idea. Oh, and we also had these matching rainbow headbands. They were really cute too. And we all decide that we either had to wear pants or shorts and we would just splatter paint all over them to kind of like bring the outfit together or whatever. But when it came to picking pants or shorts, I decided that I was gonna wear shorts and I wasn't gonna wear no regular shorts either. I was going to wear the shortest shorts I could find. Well, maybe not that short. But the shorts I picked out were probably about this size. I don't know if you guys can see them. This size, this length. They're about mid and they were like all white and then we like splattered paint all over them to make them super pride, super event, pridey, colorful, you know, you know. And one of my friends decided that he was gonna wear pants and my other friend decided that he was gonna wear shorts but his shorts were longer than mine. Mine were very short. <laughs> now the problem with my shorts in particular is that when I sat down, you know how you sit down in shorts and your shorts ride up? When I sat down in my shorts, they literally rode up to like the bottom of my cheeks. Like if, if they rode up any higher, I was gonna show you full cheekage. Literally like boom, cake out. And I knew that this was gonna be an issue for me during Pride, but I did not care. I was like, whatever, it's Pride, I'ma have my buns out. Everybody got their buns out, I want my buns out too. So, I decided to wear them. So fast forward to the day we went to Pride, I decided to wear the shorts. We all got on our matching outfits or whatever. We look really, really cute, really high, really like, uh, uh formation. <laughs> so we head on over and we get to where all the festivities are and let me tell you guys, it was so much fun. There was all types of people, everybody was super colorful and friendly, everybody was just dancing, having a good time and walking around and mingling with each other. It was just so fun. I have the best community. 
but not only was Pride super fun, it was super hot. Like literally, it was like 106 degrees outside. I was sweating, okay? Thank God I wore my short shorts because my cheeks were just flapping in the wind and it was breezy, okay? But since it was hot, we went over to this one table that had like drinks and ices that you could purchase and whatever. So we're buying our drinks from this table, but then my friend notices that the boy running the table, how many times am I gonna say table? But then my friend notices that the boy running the table is his ex-boyfriend. And they're really good friends, so there's no tension there. So then my friend and his ex-boyfriend start talking for a little bit, and then my friend introduces us to him, and he's really, really cool. But then his ex-boyfriend turns to me and is like, hey, my one friend over here, and we're gonna to name him let's name him red but he's like hey this is my friend red he really thinks you're cute he thinks you're attractive and he would like to know if you want to hang out with him and red was really cute so of course i was like okay sure <laughs> well not like that i was more like okay sure <laughs> You know, I was super hyped because he was really cute. So Red walks from behind the table and walks over to me and I ask my friends if it's okay if I hang out with him. They say sure, do your thing, and me and Red walk off into the Pride festivities, just, you know, hanging out and whatnot. So we're like walking around and talking and he's super funny so he's making me laugh and <laughs> it didn't hurt that he was cute. <laughs> But at this point, it was getting later on in the day and the sun finally started to go down and things started to cool off. So then Red was like, hey, do you wanna go to this park? We can sit in the grass and watch the sunset. There's this cute lake there. And I was like, yeah, sure, I'll sit in fire with you if you ask me to. <laughs> Little did I know I was actually going to be sitting in fire, but you'll hear about that. So we walk over to the park, we find this tree that's near the lake and we sit under it by the lake, just like looking at the water, looking at the sunset. He's asking me all these like stupid questions that are so irrelevant, like how is your day? Like what do you do? What do you go to school for? Like, And mind you, we're like sitting in the grass. I don't have like a blanket under me, I don't have like a jacket under me, nothing. Like my bare legs on the grass. And he's talking to me and he's saying something but he's like rambling on and I can't really focus on what he's saying because my legs are starting to like itch really badly. So I start scratching my legs and I'm just like, oh, it must be the grass. Maybe the grass is just prickly, you know, whatever. So I scratch the back of my legs and then the sensation kind of goes away. So I start talking to him some more. Then like five minutes later, my legs start really itching and I'm like, okay, this grass is like tearing my legs up. So I turn to him and I'm like, I don't think we can sit here for much longer because it's really itching. The grass is just really itching my legs. Like I don't know what it is. And it wasn't just the back of my legs. It was all the way up to like the bottom of my cheekage area like the back of my thighs were really itchy so he's like that's fine we should probably start heading back anyway because it's getting late and I'm like yeah you're right so I stand up first and I turn around to look at him and his face is like <gasps> so I'm looking down at my shorts and I'm like did I sit in something like what what is it do I got something on my butt what is it and he looks at me and he's like are you allergic to anything because your legs are covered in red bumps and I'm like, what are you talking about? And I look at the back of my leg and it is so red. It's like my leg, it was literally like this color. The entire back of my leg was like this huge rash and it was like fire engine red and there were these bumps all over the place. And still to this day, I have no idea what caused it. I don't know what it was. I have no idea. The only thing I can think of is if I got bit by something or maybe they had something in the grass like you know how they put like fertilizer and stuff maybe I'm allergic to that because it didn't make sense because if I got bit by something I feel like I would have felt the bite I don't know. I don't know. I don't know but my legs were red AF they itched super bad and when I went to like scratch it it was like fire. They itched so bad, but I tried super hard not to scratch them because like I said, it felt like fire. When I scratched my legs, it literally felt like someone was taking little, um, like little needles and just going like, like scratching the heck out of my legs. I couldn't do it. But what made it worse is because I had shorts on and they rolled up my booty cheeks when I sat down is that the rash or whatever it was literally went all the way up like to mid cheek area. Like it was like, half my butt was covered in this rash and it hurt and it itched and it burned and I couldn't sit. So I'm freaking out and he's super calm, thank God, because if he started freaking out, I probably would have freaked out more. So we walk to this convenience store, he goes inside and he comes out with this tube of Benadryl cream. And if you don't know what Benadryl is, it's basically something that you use on allergic reactions or rashes or whatever. I don't, I don't really know what it is, but it helps you with allergic reactions. Cause you just put it on and it's supposed to like clear it up or whatever. 
So I'm still freaking out in front of the convenience store. There's people walking past, but I don't care. I'm like, oh my god, I need to put this on right now. And I start yelling at Red, and I'm like, can you please put this on my legs? Because they're on fire. You need to do something right now. <laughs> and poor Red was just like, okay, I'll put it on you. So there I was, standing in front of this convenience store, and this man that I just met putting cream all over my legs, all over my thighs, and then up my shorts, kind of, so he can put it on my cheekage. And people were just walking by watching this poor boy put the lotion all over my legs, all over my cheeks and whatnot. And I'm standing there like, oh God, please help me. <laughs> and after he was done, he was such a sweetie about it. He was like, do you want me to walk you back to your dorm? And I was like, yes, please walk me back to my dorm. Screw my friends. I don't need to see them. I could text them and tell them what's going on. Just get me home, please. So since I was literally dying, he ordered us an Uber to go back to my dorm room, but unfortunately it was extremely hard to sit in the Uber. I wasn't even like sitting on the seats. I was like, I was like hovering above the seat the whole time because I didn't want my legs to touch the seat. That's how bad my legs hurt. And the Uber driver kept turning around. He was like, are you okay? Like, do you need, do you need to go to the hospital? <laughs> I was like, no, just get me to the dorms, please. Can you just stop talking to me? You're making it worse. And then finally we get to the dorms and he's like, is it okay if I come inside? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, you just put lotion all over my cheeks. I think we know each other well enough at this point. We go inside and literally the first thing I do is strip down, run into the bathroom and run a cold shower and take a cold shower to cool my legs off. And I ain't gonna lie to y'all, it felt so good to be in that cold water. Oh my God, my legs felt like they were in heaven. And I don't know what Red was doing at this point. I assume he was just sitting in the living room just texting his friends about the craziness that just happened. But after I get out, I put on some light. And when I tell you light, I mean the thinnest pair. The thinnest pair of undies I could find. And an oversized t-shirt. And I walk into the living room where Red was sitting. And I hold up the Benadryl cream and I'm like, do you mind <laughs> putting this on me again? Then I laid on the couch and he put it on... And then I laid on the couch, he took the Benadryl cream and he starts putting it on my legs and my thighs and my cheekage area. And um, then my friends walk in and his friend walks in and they see me laying on the couch, half nude, and then red rubbing my cheeks with this Benadryl cream. And they're like, oh, what is going on here? And all I said was, I don't even want to talk about it. I don't even want to talk about it. I don't. But that was a horrible experience I had at Pride. And to make matters worse, me and Red actually did talk for about a month after that. But then I found out he was in a whole relationship and he's been in that relationship for three years. So, um, <clears throat> yeah. So yeah, nothing good came out of that Pride. That rash lasted for almost a week too. Oh my God, it was the most horrible experience I've ever had to, oh my God, I don't know what it was that did it, but that sh itched and burned for like a week straight and it finally went away and then when it went away I still had these like black dots all over like where the rash was I guess it was the bump scabbing up I don't know what it was but it was just just wasn't cute okay but yeah that's the story I hope you guys enjoyed it I know I haven't posted in like two or three weeks so I'm I'm back <laughs> did I ever leave though not really, because I post on TikTok like almost every day. But before I go, I just want to say happy Pride Month, guys. I love all of you so, so much. If you're a part of the community or you support the community, I love you so freaking much. And I hope you guys are staying safe. These are really crazy times right now with the virus, with these protests, and these riots that are going on. There's just so much going on right now. Um, and thank you guys for all the love and support that you guys have shown me and things like that. And I don't know if you guys know, but every time I post a video about the Black Lives Matter movement that's going on on TikTok right now, the videos get taken down. Literally, I posted about four or five of them and only one is still up. The rest violated some sort of community guidelines. I don't know what I said or did that was so offensive or anything like that. I was just literally educating people, making people aware of what's going on, and then giving people some safety tips that are going to the protest. Um, I guess TikTok got offended and took my videos down. The only one that's still up is a phobia that I have about um, driving and getting pulled over by a police officer and having that officer 
uh, take my life for something I can't control, like the color of my skin. So these are real phobias that black people have. Um, I hope you guys are staying safe and I hope you guys are staying smart as well. Continue to educate, continue to repost, and continue to support. I love all of you guys so freaking much you don't even understand. Thanks for 1.2 million. I know I'm rambling. Now I'm starting to ramble. But I just wanted to say, I know this is bad timing, but I did come out with some new merch. I'll put it like right here on the screen and I'll also put the link in the description. It'll say like Titans merch or something like that and you just click that. It'll take you to my merch and you guys can buy some stuff to support or whatever. Or you don't have to. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I love you guys so much and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye! Oh,